All right, guys, next up, how to properly hold the sticks. There's many ways, and I don't like to use the term correctly because I feel like if you can execute something and you have a way of doing something, then that's the right way. So there really is no right or wrong way, but we have two types of grips mainly, and that is matched, where both hands are the same. And this is basically what you call a German grip, um, where the thumb and the first finger here in that first joint are kind of balancing the stick there. And you flip the hands over, and that's how you can freely move. Or you'll see me playing in this tutorial, I play traditional grip, um, in which the, the hand is kind of turned over. It's the old way of playing drums, but it, it has its benefits. And you slide the stick into that web between your thumb and your first finger. And then these fingers kind of fold over there, middle finger and third finger. And there you go. One of the best ways to get into that grip is imagine you're shaking someone's hand. Your hand's out right here. And you kind of keep it in this position. You just insert the stick. And there you go. That's pretty much the angle, and that's the movement. Um, so like I said, you'll see me playing traditional grip, but um, you can play matched as well. But for this, we'll show you, I'll show you me playing traditional. All right, guys, first up is the absolute foundation of striking a drum. It's the free stroke. The free stroke's often really overlooked by most people, and even myself, I didn't really get to understand its functionality until later on in my playing. But I'm here to tell you that this is the absolute first thing. So, assuming we're going to play matched here in the right hand, what the free stroke is is when you strike the drum, the stick has to come back up. So, whenever someone grabs a stick for the first time and strikes a drum, you usually kind of see them doing this. This is the free stroke. I'll show you that again. I throw the stick at the drum, and I let it come back up. If the stick doesn't come back up, then I'm... I'm killing the momentum, and I'm not able to get that speed to bring it back down. So the functionality of this is actually, as it keeps coming up, you're controlling that bounce. But as the bounces get smaller, that's how you develop your speed. Once you get that, the ability will come to you. And if I was to do it in my left hand playing traditional grip to show you a different way, it's a little harder to control, but it's the same thing stick must come up. Every time I hit it, the stick comes up. I'm not doing this. I'm doing this. So basically, when the sticks are coming up, you kind of let them fall back down on their own. And this is what builds the momentum and allows you to play quickly and effortlessly. The free stroke. 